be dependent on them might be this, an extrapolation of the same thing we see as people become increasingly self-absorbed into social media and, ga and games. We might see the human race uh, not being necessarily overtaken by the uh, machines, but maybe the human race will descend into some kind of an idiocracy that is <laughs> below the level of uh, the machines that we currently have now. So we've talked about the economic momentum that might uh, lead to this. We've talked about the military momentum, the uh, competition between nation states that might uh, drive this kind of uh, rise of artificial intelligence. I want to talk about your... Uh, your argument that you make in the book, uh, that, that what really kind of motivates you, even though you think this might result in the extinction of uh, the human species, you're driven to do it because you see yourself uh, almost, as you mentioned earlier, a scientific religion, uh, the, the enticement of uh, building artificial gods. That's, that's something that motivates you very strongly, isn't it? Well, I'm, you know, don't, don't forget I'm retired. See, mm -hmm. I, I, I do not want to be a... I tear an assassin. So that'll be for young. <laughs> that'll be for younger guys. That's okay? right. So, yeah. You're so, not involved so in the fight anymore. Potential, all, all you potential Terran assassins out there, just, just don't forget that. But right? I'm retired. I, I don't do this stuff anymore. Uh, yeah. Now, now I'm a globocator. I use I make YouTube videos for PhD level math and physics to educate the planet for free. That's that's my new career. So so I don't actually build artificial brains any, anymore. And what's that website? But, Go ahead and uh, tell everybody what that website is. Can you can you show it on screen? So it's it's uh, prof. Yes. Prof. Are you able to show it on screen? Yes. Yes, easier. we can. Yes. Prof Hugo okay. de Garris. Is that what it is? Uh, yes. Yes. Do you, do you have the actual? They've got it up right now. Prof Hugo de Garris dot WordPress dot com, and people can see that up yeah. there right now. Okay, and so that's what you're doing right now as a retired person. So uh, if you're out there and you're angry and you want to pull a Unabomber Ted Kaczynski on somebody, uh, he's not your man. <laughs> he's, yeah, thank leave, you. leave him alone. He's just looking at this okay, stuff so, and, and talking so, about the argument behind it. Yes, go ahead. Right. So I've been I've been advising my friends and and colleagues, uh, like for example, those who are those those who are active. Uh, they're going to have to be increasingly careful. Now, it's, it's too soon now, but uh, you know, when, um, when they get into the 2020s and the species dominance debate really starts heating up, you know, should humanity build artifacts? Uh, when when that, that question is on everyone's mind, then, uh, then you know, all these nutcases will come out of the woodwork. And so these, these uh, developers will have to be very careful uh, where they go and, and appearing in public and so forth. And I can imagine companies like IBM and Google and so on, they will definitely have to beef up their security. Yes, yeah, so it's something that uh, everybody is talking about now in the mainstream media, at least the idea that there is a potential of some kind of a, a threat down the road. This was not something that anybody other than uh, sites like InfoWars was talking about a few years ago. We've been talking about how this might uh, go down badly. And of course, we were just dismissed as wide-eyed conspiracy theorists. Uh, I'm sure you've had a lot of people tell you that they think that this is uh, pure fantasy as well. Yeah, well, now, now the idea is out there, right? Because, mm -hmm. because of the movie Transcendence. You know, yes. Billions of people have seen that movie and the idea's in their heads. So uh, you know, <laughs> what did Rift do? They were assassinating the principal artificial brain researchers and, and uh, sabotaging the artificial brain companies and so forth. So uh, Google, IBM, etc. They they need to you know, pay attention. This, this is something that will very probably happen in the 2020s. That's, that's my prediction. That's my time frame. Talk to us a little bit about this, this conflict that you have, about uh, wanting to build this uh, massively intelligent artificial intelligence, even though you think that it, it may have a dystopian outcome. Uh, the fact that you're concerned about this, you, you have arguments on both sides uh, for the cosmists, as you call them, and as for the Terrans who are opposed to this kind of, uh, or concerned about how this is going to get out of hand. Yet you yourself describe yourself uh, pretty much in the cosmos camp. You're you're really drawn to the idea. The not that you're doing the research anymore, but you're drawn to the idea that uh, we need to create these uh, godlike artificial intelligences that that may kill us. I find that paradox to be very interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm torn. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Uh a decade or two, yeah, I, 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 give, you know, I give lots of talks, well, I still do, and uh, I'll invite the audience to vote. Uh, I'll say, okay, you've been presented with the arguments pro and con, you know, should humanity build these artifacts or not? Let's take a vote. And often the, the split would be pretty well 
um, you know, pro artelect and, and against building artelects. And then people, after a while, would uh, come up to me and say, uh, "Oh, Hugo, I'm so torn. You know, on the one hand, uh, you know, the idea that billions of human beings might get exterminated as a result of this—that absolutely horrifies me, and 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 it does me too, of course, personally. And on the other hand, uh, building these godlike creatures is is like hypnotic, right? It's uh, our, our, our pathetic, puny." little human lives that get snuffed out in a mere 80 years in a universe that's billions of years old. You know, that, that, that's the kind of vision that the, the cosmists have. Mm-hmm. They, they would be building gods that, that would be immortal. We've got to go up to a commercial break. Hang on, Dr. Degaris. We've got to go to a commercial break. We're going to come back with Dr. Hugo Degaris, artificial intelligence pioneer. We're talking about the first artificial intelligence wars, what that may be based on. We're going to talk when we come back about some of the objections that people have brought up to the idea that this could happen. Stay with us. We'll be right back. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Harvest Right. The makers of the only in-home freeze dryer would like to present to you their greenhouses that double as emergency shelters. Their greenhouses simply snap together. No tools needed. As a greenhouse, it will stand for decades. It's incredibly strong, long-lasting, and it can be quickly put up or taken down. It is also ideal when used as an emergency shelter. Learn more about this great greenhouse and the money you can save over the big box store prices at HarvestRight.com. That's HarvestRight.com. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Genesis is defined as an origin, creation, or the beginning. Genesis Communications Network began with the mission of providing you with the kind of compelling content you're listening to now. And at GCNlive.com, you'll find a free archive of our nation's history, narrated by GCN hosts. Explore, share, and pass down to future generations. GCN is the future of talk radio, but we should always strive to learn from our past. Together, we are GCNlive.com. GCN. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. Before we go back to Dr. Hugo DeGaris, uh, artificial intelligence pioneer, uh, he's in China now, he's retired. Uh, before we go back to him, I want to let you know that uh, we have several specials up. We have a month of uh, February special at InfoWarsLife.com. We have 20% off of Super Male and Super Female Vitality. You'll also find at InfoWarsLife.com 15% off ProPure Water Filters. And we have a special introductory offer for Ancient Defense, our newest supplement. If you buy two, Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine, you'll get one Ancient Defense for free. 
So support our operation, go to InfoWarsLife.com. You'll find those February specials there. Uh, Dr. DeGaris, as uh, we've been talking about the coming conflict over uh, artificial intelligence, whether or not we should proceed with that, one of the things that concerns me is that artificial intelligence uh, as a weapon uh, by a small elite group that we've seen, the, as we talked about the military aspect, the military composition, uh, competition between different countries, we see really, I think, the thing that concerns me as, as an engineer, I can consistently see technology being used now in a very dark way. And I think it's because, as uh, Eisenhower warned us with the military industrial complex, we see really that DARPA and military uh, industrial complex has pretty much taken over research at the university. And I'm concerned that whenever we see in the past throughout history, whenever technology is widely disseminated, then we have liberty. We have uh, a freedom uh, of the people. But when it is concentrated in the hands of a few, then we see that society trends towards a tyranny and despotism. So that's one of the things that concerns me about artificial intelligence. Well, I personally, I, I have a real hatred of the international central banksters and all their cronies and all the mm -hmm. horrible things they've done in, in the 20th century. I, I'd like to see those guys put behind bars. As would so, I, you know, yes. I, I share a lot of your goals that way. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the reasons why I see the Terrans becoming absolutely paranoid is that it may be technologically possible within a decade or so for just a small team of cosmists in their basement to, to build artificial brains that, that then uh, accelerate into hyperintelligence very quickly. And so I can imagine the Terrans uh, at, at government level mm -hmm. uh, Going, going on a kind of witch hunt. You know, they'll, they'll be sneaking into everybody's lives, trying to, you know, is this guy a, is this guy a cosmist? Is that guy a cosmist? And, and so on. Or there may be people at the governmental level that are using the work of the cosmists for their own particular agenda. That's what really concerns me. Uh, yeah, well, yes. uh, I've, I've got a book chapter coming out pretty soon. How will the art elect war start? Uh, you're trying to dream out various scenarios, and, and who knows, there may be even at government level, different, different governments, mm -hmm. some Terran, some Cosmist, and eventually uh, you know, it goes nuclear, so there, there, there you get your giga death. So it's very hard to predict the detailed scenario that will actually unfold, but uh, the debate will heat up uh, in the late teens. You know, just, it, it's starting now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the 20s, it'll get hot. In the 30s, I predict it'll go political. You know, we'll be into what I call the fourth phase, the political phase. You'll start getting the terrorism and the sabotage and the assassinations and so forth. And then after that, uh, well, you know, it's very hard to predict. But, but it's such an issue that's, that will di dominate and divide humanity so bitterly because uh, the two ideologies are just so powerful. On the one hand, you'd be building gods. And on the other hand, you're risking the survival of the human species. Yes, so, uh, absolutely. And the question is, just kind of like uh, you mentioned, uh, they were initially talking about your Twilight Zone movie. Uh, there was a Twilight Zone episode that was called To Serve Man. These aliens who come in and give this beneficial technology to people, and then at the end of the episode, somebody sneaks into the ship and sees that To Serve Man is actually a cookbook. And so that's what we always need to worry about with this. We're going to come back. We're going to take your phone calls. If you've got any questions for Dr. Hugo DeGaris, he's consented to take those. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. We're going to talk about some questions and objections that people have. Thank Stay with us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. But the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots Engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it.